except maybe blue steel. Did I do it right? <laughs> and this is A and B Combo's Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Edition. Okay, welcome back to A and B Convos Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Edition. Okay, if you don't know who I am, check me out. I am the Cruiserweight Champion, the Moth, Man of the Hour, the 25 year old piece of gold, <laughs> okay, Leo Rush. Welcome back to A and B Convos. We are getting ready for Survivor Series coming up in just a few days. Right now we have NXT going on. We just had NXT and SmackDown invade Raw on Monday. And um, watching NXT, you see the favors uh, being returned. So let's talk about what's going on. Really excited to see that NXT is definitely stepping up their game. Triple H is coming in here trying to make NXT the brand, and I gotta tell you, the caliber of wrestling on NXT far and beyond much better than it is on Raw and SmackDown. So tonight, we're also gonna be giving you live reaction, the invasion, or the invitation of Raw and SmackDown to NXT. So we got Kaylee Ray and Dakota Kai going at it. Oh! Now that, it's a good move. That's a good move. Oh. Mm -hmm. said, now I really want to see him do like Kane used to do, just take the. Oh! Yeah. That was good. That was a hell of a kick upside the head. I, I don't know if she's alive. You alive? Not really sure. Oh, she's alive. Good doubt. Oh, ooh. ooh, nice kick to the side of the head. Oh! It's got her hands it's gonna her. It's gonna her. Nope. I didn't think she'd win on that move. It didn't seem... something out. What if she spit out? Lose the two? Maybe she just lost some blood, but... No, she's holding, she's holding her... What? Is she chewing gum? Oh, uh, yeah. She spit out her gum and then put it back in. What was that? Well, I gotta say, Kaylee Ray really took some abuse in that, so... I think she was almost lucky to come on uh, top, but she barely kicked out of that last one. I was gonna say, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, SmackDown is in the house. Here we go. I'm so slow. I'm like, oh, oh nice kick to the yes. side. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, baby. Oh, wait a minute. NXT is going at it with SmackDown. Man, well, where's the rest of SmackDown? There's, there's, I don't. You know what? It kind of seems like. Wait, wait, wait. Who just, Raw just got in the ring. Oh, Raw arrived at the same time? Okay, hold up. Do you see who's in the ring? And I saw her on the picture the other day. I thought she went back to NXT. What's her name? The cave woman? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 we wanted to see that showdown. I guess we'll have to wait and see it on Sunday. He can? Man. Oh. This is the most 
action some of these women in this ring have seen in quite some time. And I gotta tell you, talking about Raw and SmackDown, but I gotta tell you, in one fell swoop, this was more exciting than any of the women's matches we've seen on Raw and SmackDown in quite some time. is that NXT women have forced SmackDown and Raw to fight at a level that you haven't seen them had to fight since they were at NXT. So they had to take it to the next notch because otherwise they were gonna continue to get their asses handed to them and look ridiculous even though they're supposed to be the graduated class. And then you have these underdogs coming in, you know, the ones who are trying to make it, who are just knocking you around and, you know, making you look bad on your own turf. I mean, Shayna Baszler came in there and she beat up three people by herself um, one of, you know, a few weeks back. So, I mean, finally, the women on Raw and SmackDown are stepping it up. And so this is the best thing that's happened to both shows in a long time. Congratulations, Triple H. One thing I got to know, we had this whole women's evolution. Fantastic. Very long overdue. I want to talk very briefly about the championship title belts. Because you have, and, and, and again, as you can see with the Universal Championship right here, now that it's on SmackDown held by Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, they changed the color. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing, but that's neither here nor there. The thing that I'm upset about is you had the Universal title in the first place because the WWE Champion was on SmackDown. You needed a heavyweight champion on Raw, thus the birth of the Universal title in red, which is the Raw brand. So now you have a heavyweight champion on Raw, heavyweight champion on SmackDown, and we see with the women's title belts, again, color branded, color coded for the shows. So heavyweight champions for men, heavyweight champions for women, tag team champions, again, color coded for both men on both shows, and yet for the women, only one title, tag title to share amongst all of them. Why? Why is it white? Why is it not color-coded? And why isn't another set of title belts for the women on the other brand? I don't get it. With the amount of women that they have training to come up on NXT, and the amount of women matches they have on NXT, it wouldn't even make sense for them to, as they continue to graduate them up to the main rosters and not to do that. That's something that they need to do if they want to continue to say that they're serious about giving women equal time. Adam Cole. Baby! Did I say it right? Baby? Can he climb any slower? I can't stand when they do that. When they're like, oh, one. Oh, man, that was a butt buster. It was a butt buster. All right, here we go. Butt buster. Oh! Oh, and he hurt his own knee! Mm. Oh, man! Okay, keep in mind, with a knee move like that, that rearranged Johnson's face. It sure did. And he also finished the match. Say what you will about that man, but he finished that match with his broken nose. His face was sideways. His face was, his face pushed was to one side. sideways. It was hard to look at. It was hard to look at. He's going up. He's hobbling up, but not very fast. Now, that's a legit slow hobble because he just hurt his knee. Whereas a second ago, Adam Cole was just crawling in slow motion. See, that's how you crawl a ladder. They both got their hand on the briefcase. Who's gonna get it? Oh! No! There you go. Adam Cole, baby. 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 These ladder matches, uh, it takes years off of your life, it takes years from your career. It is really painful to watch. Yeah, you know, and then they do it so close to a main event that you just, you just know it's so hard to be at 100% at a huge main event when you just went through a brutal ladder match. So. But I'll tell you what, again, 
when's the last time we saw a ladder match on Raw or SmackDown over so brutality like this in general? Hmm? I mean, they managed it on NXT. All right, well, Adam Cole came out victorious on that, and, I mean, the steel was very... <gasps> Unforgiving! Oh, SmackDown! SmackDown is in the house. SmackDown is in the house. Oh, Raw's right behind oh, you. Oh, it's a Raw and SmackDown sandwich. Gentlemen, attack! And they're going for it. It's red and blue on NXT right now. But now it's going to be red on blue. Yeah, look at him going at it. It's a melee, folks. This is a real slobber knocker. It's a melee. It's a brew ha ha. It's a brew ha ha. Uh oh. Uh oh. Drew McIntyre. Boom! Good gracious. That was a triple backflip, folks. Oh, Keith is in the house. Big Keith. You ain't going to flip him over three times. Some heavyweights up in this. Oh! oh. You went down hard. Had that man up in oh. the air. Oh, now we got some two beef cakes up in here. That's yeah, a, that's a dude. Lot of, that's a lot of poundage. That's a lot of poundage. I could see them oh, collapsing the ring. Outside the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> and you just heard bowling pins go down. Big guy should not be able to fly over the top rope like this, that's man. Funny. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. Well, Keith Lee hit some of his own guys. They are setting it up nicely. Ah, uh, I wouldn't be smiling like that, baby. You might wanna look over your shoulder, son. Told ya. Seth Rollins. Little sweet chin music. Sweet chin. Is this not called sweet chin music when he does it? You know what? I gotta tell you. Sweet chin music is all the same, no matter who does it. And now he's about to burn it down. What, what, who does he see? Who does he see? Oh. Check this out. The bearded ones are going at it. Oh, there was some language there. Good thing everyone is laying on the side of the ring, unable to get up. All 50 See, people. And I gotta tell you, this is exciting. This is more exciting than anything we've seen on Raw and SmackDown in a long time. Oh, I thought he was gonna attack the cameraman. Interesting. See, this is how you do an entertaining show. Not this nonsensical Lana Ooh. Lashley Rusev business. Right. This is what you want to see. Man, a great way to end NXT. Great way to end it. It, it gets you so excited for this weekend. We just have a few days. And we are going to be watching Survivor Series live at David Buster's in Northridge. So if you are out here in Los Angeles area in California, Come out and join us. It's a free event. We're excited. Either way, we'll bring it to you next week. Thank you guys for joining us once again for AB Combos Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Edition. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. We'll see you next time. See you soon. Peace. <laughs>